Hey everyone, welcome back to BDG Reviews. We're back today with another uh, Horror Pack unboxing. In case you don't know, Horror Pack's monthly subscription. It's like 25 bucks, whatever. You get four DVDs or four Blu-rays. I go with the Blu-rays because I like Blu-rays. Um, now, this isn't a sponsored video. I pay for these out of my own pocket, so I let you know good, bad, or indifferent how I feel about things. Um, also, Horror Pack put out a bunch of clues... Um, on their Instagram and Twitter, um, so you can kind of like you can guess what you're gonna get. So I'll go through the clues right now. First up, you must play the game or die in this festival favorite. See, with something like that, my thought goes to something like Truth or Dare or something. But Truth or Dare didn't do good well at festivals. I don't think. I don't know. That's gonna be interesting. Next, Goran Telekinesis. Fill this 80 inspi 80s inspired retro horror blood fest. Telekinesis. The only thing I know with Telekinesis is like Carrie. Uh, or maybe the Fury. I don't know. Next up, an ancient relic is the catalyst for undead bloodshed in this supernatural sequel. Okay, let's be honest, that sounds like Evil Dead 2. Um, I kind of doubt it is. But, you know, we'll see. And last up, when hiking in the forest, be careful not to disturb the demonic horde. Uh, no clue. No clue at all for that one. So yeah, let's get into this. I've said before, I'll say it again. Horror Pack's good if you got like a... 20 something bucks to, to burn you know it's a good little uh good little blind buy sort of thing but first up we have oh wow the hollow this is one i've actually been wanting to see for quite a while let's see here uh when a london-based conservationist is sent to ireland with his wife and infant child to survey an area of forest believed to be hallowed ground by superstitious locals, his actions unwittingly disturb a horde of demonic creatures who prey upon the lost. Who prey upon the lost, alone and deep within the wood, in the darkness of the remote wilderness, he must now fight to protect his family against ancient forces' relentless attacks. So, in jo starring Joseph Mall, and. Bojana no no Nova no, no, I don't know. I'm I'm not even gonna try anymore. The Hallow marks the acclaimed visual stylist Colin Hardy's featured directorial debut. Hardy displays a technical elegance and sophisticated approach to the macabre in this modern and disquieting horror fable. And the special features include uh, surviving the fairy tale, making of the Hollow, director's storyboards. The Book of Invasions, original illustrations, director's sketchbook, Corin Hardy's original concept sketches, and creature concepts. Damn. Uh, yeah, I've been after, I've been thinking of picking this one up for a while, and honestly, um, it's kind of expensive up here, so, yeah. If, that, if that's any indication, that's a damn good start. Next up, we have, oh yes, Dead Again in Tombstone. This is another one I've been after. I have um, Dead in Tombstone, the original. This is the sequel to it. So damn. That's cool. The Devil's Outlaw and reluctant servant Guerrero, Danny Trejo, returns from the dead again in this action-packed western which promises to be one hell of a ride. Guerrero is forced to protect a stolen relic from getting into the hands of Jackson Boomer and his gang of soldiers. But Jackson will stop at nothing to raise his comrades from the dead and bring r the wrath of hell upon earth. Guerrero must use his dark powers in order to defeat Jackson and find redemption or die again trying. And the features are uh, making making dead again in tombs, Tombstone, Danny Trejo as Guerrero, deleted shots montage and feature commentary with director Roel Rainey and more. Damn. That's another one I've been wanting to see, so I'm happy with that. Next up, we have... Ooh. Okay, this is the Horror Pack Limited Edition, and it's uh, Live Scream. Never heard of this. Everyday loving fans watch Scott Atkinson 
play games online. After a lifetime of failures and false starts, streaming games is the only thing he's good at. Enter Livescream. The mysterious horror, horror game is sent to him by an anonymous fan. At first he thinks the game is a low quality indie title, but when his followers start dying one by one, he soon realizes that the game is far more sinister. Now Scott will be forced through nine levels of video game hell, each level representing a different horror, horror game niche. In order to walk away alive, it might just cost him his fans and his soul. And the special features are audio commentary, boundary breaking, live screen behind the scenes, clown makeup effects featurette, blooper reel, and trailer. Damn, that sounds really kind of fun. And last up, we have... Oh, this is one that I already have. But, yeah, that's uh, In the Mind's Eye. Well, it's just The Mind's Eye. I don't know why I said In the Mind's Eye. Zach Connors and Rachel Meadows were born with incredible psychokinetic capabilities. When word of their supernatural talents gets out, they find themselves the prisoners of Michael Slovak, a deranged doctor intent on harvesting their powers. After a daring escape, they're free from their sin they are free from his sinister institution, but the corrupt doctor will stop at nothing to track them down, so he might continue may continue to siphon their gifts for his own use. The Mind's Eye is a mind-bogglingly gory film that has heart, soul, and suspense, but above all, unbelievably fun to watch. Special features are a look into the mind, the eye of the, a look into the eye of madness featurette, commentary with uh, writer-director Joe Begos, producer's commentary with featuring Joe Begos, Josh, Josh Ithier, Graham Skipper, and Zach Zeman. Yeah, I, I've I have this. I've never actually seen it, but it says so right on the front there. The best scanner sequel to never that never got. The best scanner sequel sequel we never got. Essentially, it's like an unofficial scanners, and from what I've heard, it's awesome. So I'm definitely gonna get around to watching that. So this month has been hella solid. Got the mind the mind's eye. Live scream. Dead Again in Tombstone, and The Hollow. So yeah, one hell of a good month. This Usually, you know, I got two or three that um, I've seen before, but this time, it's completely the other way around. I'm damn happy about that. So yeah, there we go. Uh, I'll leave a link below if you want your own horror pack. Like I said, they're worth getting if you have a bit of, if you have a bit of cash to spare. And, you know, is what it is, right? That's it for now. See you next time.